Music has a special effect on us, especially when it comes to evoking memories of a specific place in time. In tonight's Paying It Forward report, WSAV's Ben Singer shows us how a local nonprofit is harnessing the power of music as a form of therapy. All right, I'm so excited for our music today. This group gets together several times a week at the Isle of Hope United Methodist Church in Savannah. Last week, we talked about one of our favorite people, Elvis. On this day, a music lesson of sorts. The goal, not necessarily to learn something new, but to rekindle old memories. Do you remember this song? Do you know where you were the first time you heard it? Dr. Emily Williams Birch is the conductor of this performance that requires audience participation. So I come here once a week. We do very specific music that gets them moving and breathing and singing and stretching and telling stories. Go! Can you dance a jig? About a dozen members of this audience have memory impairment. The rest are volunteers or caregivers. It's a ministry known as Hope Arbor. We have exercise, music, games, art, activities. Brooke Chambers is the director of the program. So basically it's just stimulating day for them and it gives their loved ones a break. And it's a break that yields some big benefits. Okay, so Emmy has been an incredible blessing to us. I cannot tell you how important music is for the mind, especially people with memory impairment because it takes them back to happy times. It helps them concentrate on things, memories that may be lost otherwise. And since the very beginning, I have prayed for somebody to be able to do this type of work with us. Emmy founded Rise Chorales in 2016. It's more than a choir. In addition to singing, the goal is to teach young people how to socialize and serve. Then she started Rise Outreach to give back. And we offer programming, scholarships, and all types of workshops and musical things in schools that don't have music programs or in community places such as Hope Arbor, where music can engage people in a way that impacts them for good. You're gonna smell a rose, blow out a candle. Ready, smell the rose. She's paying it forward with the gift of music and it's a mutually beneficial effort. I feel honored to get to do this every week and to see how it impacts them and we're then giving back to their communities. They get back in the car with their caregivers at the end of the session and you've just heard great stories from the volunteers and the caregivers where this music time has brought back a spark to their life, the power of music realized. In Savannah, Ben Singer, WSAB News 3 on your side. There are two fundraisers coming up that will help support the programs of Rise Outreach. You can find more information at WSAV.com slash paying it forward.